what is a custom RTMP and how do you effectively add it into your A10 Mini? We'll talk about it in today's video. Hey, what's up everyone, it's Steph here. Previously in one of my videos, I talked about how to add a custom streaming platform to your A10 Mini Pro here. So basically adding a custom streaming platform, you will be able to see different platforms that you can stream to. The most popular ones being YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. I've also talked about how you can add other streaming platforms as well to your A10 Mini. So if you haven't watched and learned how to do so, do check out that video. I've also put the link below for easy reference. Do watch until the end of the video because I realized by trial and error, after many hours, why after I edited the streaming.xml file, the values are not reflected in the ATEM. I wasn't able to find the information anyway online until I discovered it by accident, so I will be sharing with you later on. The reason why I'm doing this video is because in the past two weeks, I've got two corporate clients who wish to do a live stream of their event. Their request, they needed to add a custom RTMP to my A10 Mini to stream to their audience. Okay, these two clients are pretty big, so I'm not sure if I can name names here in YouTube, but one starts with M and the other one starts with G. So well, of course, I needed to do some homework, right? And be sure before I go on site because they told me that the custom RTMP info will only be provided to me on the day itself an hour before the stream goes live. Pretty nerve wracking, right? Okay, for those who just came onto this video, some basic terms I would like to explain here. RTMP stands for Real Time Messaging Protocol. It is a live video streaming technology that lets you transfer data over the internet. It is a widely used protocol for streaming video, live television, and internet phone services. So to put it simply, in a remote location, someone, somewhere is shooting a video and they want to send this video over to the internet where they can process the data, play the video live on a live stream or anything they want to do with it. So how do they do it? They receive the video, chop it up into smaller fragments or packets of data, send it over the internet and the receiver receives the packet of data, combine them, and then displays it on the receiving end. In this video, I'm not going to go into detail on how to set up an RTMP server or the more technical part of this video, but basically that's how an RTMP works. So in this instant, I'm being sent the below information and the stream key. So these values have been modified from the actual ones for this video, basically just to maintain privacy and for security purposes. So now I will go into how to input these values into your ATEM Mini. First up, power up your ATEM. Make sure your ATEM is connected to your laptop. For me, I connect them from the ATEM using a USB-C cable to my laptop's USB-A port using a USB-C to USB-A cable. So once your laptop detects the ATEM, look for a file called streaming.xml. If you're using a Mac on the Mac OS, you will find it at this location. If you're using a PC, you will find it at this location. Again, I will put both links below for you to find it easily later. So next, open up the streaming.xml file. You will need to download a text editor. For me, I use the Visual Studio Code, which you can download freely here. As you can see, I have already have a custom RTMP section here, which I've been using currently. So I only need to change the details under the URL here to the information that my client will be sending me. Again, I won't go into detail explaining the different values here in this file as I've covered them previously in my other video. For your convenience, I have saved this file in my Google Drive for you to download. I will also share the link below as well. You will only need to copy and paste these codes into your own streaming.xml file. So just paste the whole chunk of codes right at the end before the slash streaming and you should be fine. So once you're done, save the file and you can close it. So now comes the most important part. Maybe it's me just being stupid or slow or lack of sleep 
or whatever. But somehow, after all the changes I've made to the streaming.xml file, I thought I've saved it, but the values do not get reflected in my ATEM minute. You need to restart the ATEM software control panel. Yes, it's that simple. So once you have restarted, you will see the custom RTMP option here under output. So there you have it, how to add a custom RTMP to your A10 Mini. Pretty simple, right? So I hope this video today will let you know how simple and easy it is to add your custom RTMP file to your A10 Mini. You should be able to do it within 5 to 10 minutes after you get the link from your client. So don't be stressed out like I was before I knew how to do it. Before I end this video, I would like to say it really means a lot to me if you found any of the information useful and if you can give this video a like. So it encourages me to continue making such videos for you. If not, feel free to leave them in the comments below so I can work on my future video content to bring you something that you like. Also, if you find any information on my channel useful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell to get the latest updates. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know.